Hello everyone, this is Rick Grantham of the Business Intelligence Team at FEUS America. I'd like to invite you to come to the ASUG SAP Business Objects User Conference that's being held in Anaheim, California between September 9th and 11th. In particular, I'd like to invite you on September 10th to come to session 0708. Now, that's in room 205B. There I will be co-presenting with Kelly Torch of Gwinnett County, who is the business intelligence lead at Gwinnett County. Now, the session is how and why Gwinnett County developed a multi-year SAP business object strategy. Now, there's quite a few things you're going to learn here. First off, you're going to understand what led to the decision to develop a business intelligence strategy. Right? Historically, the county had had, a, had business objects installed, but a business objects 3.x version, and we're only really utilizing crystal reports on top of SAP BW. So once they purchase the 4.x tool set, there's a lot of pressure that comes with that to go ahead and develop the reports and go ahead and make the tool set as available as possible. So there's, there's a comparison here between caving to executive pressure, caving to the needs, the immediate needs, versus creating a longer term business intelligence strategy. So we're gonna walk through that and give you an idea of some of the different decisions that led to creating the overall strategy. Also, an overall strategy that encompasses both short term and the long term needs. The session will also, you'll, with the session, you'll also understand the dynamics involved with multiple diverse departments. These are diverse departments such as a fire department, police department, uh, tax assessors area, your finance department, and all those different things that you would associate with a county. So, a little bit of background about Gwinnett County. Gwinnett County is in Georgia, and it's just 30 minutes outside of the state capital, which is Atlanta. It has 840,000 residents, almost a million residents, and has roughly 5,000 employees. So, the goal of the strategic plan was to create, and I quote this, the ultimate reporting environment. So what that means is, what would the ultimate reporting environment look like for the county? So that would incorporate a three to five year plan. It would incorporate determining what the quick wins are. It would also encompass a technology roadmap for reporting. Your current reporting, you're reporting three months out, six months out, a year out, five years out. And what would a security plan look like in your training needs? So, one of the first things you're going to realize in this session, we're going to walk you through what does workshop facilitation look like when you're creating a strategic plan? You know, what sort of tools does it make sense for you to demonstrate, particularly if your end users haven't seen most of the business objects tool set before? What sort of questions should you ask during the workshops? You know, what are the biggest pain points? How do you go about extracting that information from the users within the workshops? So, we'll walk you through that. We'll also walk you through how we determine what the high impact integration points are. You know, so that we can determine the complexity of one system versus another, of different systems that you're going to integrate into business intelligence. Also, the complexity of one department, we'll say the fire department versus the police department versus the human resources department. So, all of that together to determine what an overall department's readiness is to roll out business intelligence, or business objects in this case. So we're going to go over readiness factors of each department. How do you determine that? How do you determine desire and need for each department? How do you determine how complex it is for each individual department? So this is relevant not only for public sector, but also for private sector businesses as well, as you have multiple departments, and you have to figure out the best way to roll this out so that you're getting the biggest bang for your buck. Another thing that we're going to hit during this session is the best ways to optimize adoption. So if you're looking at a three-month strategy, a six-month, a five-year strategy, what is the best way or what tool should you roll out in which order to be able to maximize the adoption of those tools? And finally, we'll walk you through what the strategic plan looked like. How do you create a series of technology-related projects? How do you create a series of content related projects and determine exactly which department should go first, which should go second, which should go third, and what an overall plan looks like. So with that, I would like to invite you to the session. 
It's on Tuesday, September 10th. It's in room 205B, session 0708. I'm Rick Grantham with FES America, co-presenting with Kelly Torch at Gwinnett County. And the name of the session is Gwinnett County, How and Why Gwinnett County Developed a Multi-Year SAP Business Object Strategy. We'll see you there.